can also define nested for loops so that's a for loop inside a for loop so let's start defining a for loop and inside this for loop you can have another for loop so now we have a for loop inside a for loop and obviously we could print something inside it so if you run it executes a lot of time or you'll notice it's two dimensional right we have two for loops so a for loop in a for loop and you're going to print ig so there you go we have this one dimension going to nine and this dimension going to nine and both starting from zero so this would like go over every position in a two-dimensional space so usually you don't want to go have a lot of for loops inside for loops because it quickly gets very confusing right if you have uh, 10 for loops okay um, you totally lose track of what's going on so you want to have one or two for loops at maximum so one nested loop uh, tops